That's going to be a doors open at 11. Yogi's on hard live show at noon. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. Kenny Guyton heading to Wisconsin to be the wide receiver. Coach. Kenny G. So fucking cool. reuniting so with Luke cool. Fickle. Also, Bruce Feldman put up a, an article with Kenny Guyton, like saying that he's got hired as the Wisconsin coach and put the picture of the wrong coach there. Like <laughs> Did he really? Another, another black coach. We got to stop this stuff. We right? have to. Kim, here's what we need. We need every one of these like stiff ass white guys that has Twitter and is a social media person mm -hmm. to, to have somebody, whether it's a friend, an employee, a coworker that is a black guy yeah, that can look at the picture Same. because apparently for some of these stiff ass white guys, it's really hard. Like, how is it this hard? They did it to Fran Brown. Now they did it to Kenny G like a simple Google search. Just play the law of odds. Literally the top 20 images. I bet you 15 of them are the right. Kenny Guyton. Honestly, just like, go to his Instagram and screenshot something from How me. about that? Go to his Twitter and find a picture he posted. Mm -hmm. Why is this so hard? I just, I feel like it's it's my job during this Black History Year to go find a generic white guy. And then whenever someone gets hired a coach, just put that coach and oh, put the logo on there. You have to do it. And that feels like my obligation to the community because this keeps happening. And it's like, damn, you didn't have to tell us you were racist. Just say that. No, like, Chris, this is, it's a mandate. Okay. As your boss. <laughs> From now on, Menace to Sports, will, when we announce that someone got hired, mm -hmm. if it's a white guy, you got to pick a different white guy. Can we just pick Tom Herman? <laughs> Every time, Tom Herman. Yeah, and just whoever it is just got hired. To and the people that watch the show will die laughing. Everyone mm -hmm. else will be like, that's not even him. Yeah. They'll get outraged. It'll be awesome. I, I I think that's the way. And it's like, it's like damn, like Bruce Feldman, like you're a, you're a big-time journalist. Yeah, big-timer, big name. You got to do at least a little bit better than that. What you hell yeah. Like please and thank you. Kenny Guyton worked hard for this opportunity and to have someone else's picture there is nuts. Nuts. But anyway, Kenny Guyton to Wisconsin. The career path has been beautiful to watch. Want your take on him his time in Arkansas and now linking up with Phil Long. Yeah, I mean it was cool. I think Kenny's Kenny's rise in the coaching industry is not surprising. Great kid, smart kid, knew he knew he would do well recruiting, always related well to the players. And he's a quarterback, so he understands offensive football. I thought it was awesome. The job he did at Arkansas, he got to take over as the interim OC, won that big game, shirt off in the locker room. You showed, you know, how in touch he is mm -hmm. with the heartbeat of the team. And I think this is a great move. Bring him to, bring him to kind of study under Phil Longo in Wisconsin. Go go out and recruit some skill kids. Get him, get him to Madison and maybe try to flip this thing for Luke Fickle. Yeah, I think it's massive, Zach, um, for, for a couple things. First of all, he's been recruiting in the SEC for a little bit. I know it's Arkansas and not Georgia, but that's still cutting your teeth a little bit differently. Oh, yeah. Um, he's a guy with some big-time Ohio State ties. Honestly, if you think about wide receiver coaches, and I don't know if I'm just like the Ohio State part of me, he's probably one of the five most famous wide receiver coaches. Well, certainly around these parts. Yeah, like, like just most famous, maybe in America. I know there's probably better guys, but like it's like him, Holloman Wiggins is famous. Mickey Joseph is famous. Like Those guys are famous. Like Kenny G is that because of his playing days in Ohio State ties. He's going to be able to really fucking recruit. There's no doubt. And and if, if he can bring skill kids to Wisconsin, that's something they, they rarely have had mm -hmm. is receivers, right? Just go back through the history of Wisconsin. And how many times have they had a big-time receiver? How many NFL receivers have they had? Regionally, how many people even grow up wanting to play receiver in the state well, of Wisconsin? Nobody. <laughs> but I think Phil, Phil Longo is going to change that, you yeah. know, as, as his offense evolves in Madison. And I think bringing Kenny G in, that's a huge, huge dub yeah. for Fick. I mean, it really is. Because the kid has SEC recruiting experience, is going to be able to go, you know, recruit that second tier receiver to come into Wisconsin and hopefully develop them and style of offense. You put a good product on the field. And I think it's important to remember he'll, when he recruits kids, he'll probably be battling Penn State, Michigan, Notre Dame, like mm -hmm. that level of, of wide receiver recruit. And I think that he likely will be able to be a thorn in all of those teams' side. For sure. Like, all of them. It's yeah. not like you're at Ohio State recruiting against – what, you recruit against Bama, the Florida schools. Well, everyone. And, uh, yeah, you, it's like the, 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 the best, very, the very best. Do you think there's a part of Kenny Guyton that is maybe positioning himself that when the time is right almost forces Ohio State to make the call? But he's got to do a good job at Wisconsin, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he's just going down his career path – you know, taking great opportunities when they come and and the chance to go back with Luke Fickle and work on his staff under Phil Longo. And they were a, there together, right? That's going to be a crazy full circle. Oh, moment. yeah. They were there. Kenny's whole career, Luke was the D.C. That's crazy. So they know each other really well. I think it's it's just going to be awesome for his career and, and to watch his career progress. I don't know. 
I don't know if that ever, you know, it's, it's kind of a fan take to say, oh, that's going to put pressure on Ohio. Eh, like, if it fits, Ryan has to know him. Yeah. Like, there, there has to be ducks in a row. Like, things have to fall in place for him to come back to Ohio State. It's like my career. Like, I was born a Buckeye. My grandfather was a head coach. But if Urban doesn't get the job there, I doubt I'm ever the, a coach at Ohio State. I mean, I tried with Trestle after uh, Daryl Hazel left. Did you really? Yeah, I did. I I reached out to Trestle and Daryl Daryl Hazel got the Akron, or, I mean, the Kent State job. And I just said, told him, hey, hey coach, I want to let you know I'm interested. And he was like, thanks, Zach. You know, I'll keep it in mind. Come to find out he needed to hire a black guy. So I had no shot. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, it had to be a minority hire for him. So, you know, it, it stars have to align yeah. for things like that to happen. But when you hire coaches, storylines matter, right? Urban wanted to hire me because he wanted me to be his receiver coach. It was just convenient that I had quite a storyline behind my name that kind of justified it, right? My, grandfather was a head coach grew up a Buckeye worked for me five years at Florida like it's the, like the icing yeah it's it's the story has to be good for boosters and fans to be excited about a hire if there's no story it's like Parker Fleming like could be a great coach but when he gets hired it's like who is this guy and then immediately fans have jaded glasses when they look at Parker Fleming <laughs> Parker Fleming bro it's gonna be a long offseason for him if something goes wrong Parker Fleming He's rooting for Devin Brown in a way that no one else is because the best thing he can do for him is to keep that punt unit off the field. Yeah. <laughs> best thing. But anyway, back, back to what we were talking about. Cause I, the feeling is, and I, I don't know if Ohio state fans are ready to acknowledge this, but Brian Hartline's not going to be here for the next five years. Like, I don't, I don't know how to say that. Right. No, I don't think so. Like my guess is he'll probably get a head coaching job at some point or th that wide receiver job will open up no matter what happens. And when it does, I just think of the guys that are kind of at least obvious calls. And it feels like Kenny Guyton, like, did you think you're, during your career about, okay, how can I position myself to be a really attractive hire for Ohio State? Was that something that you kept in mind kind of going through things? Or was it just like, all right, this job, this job, this job? No, nah, the good ones is just focus on the job you have. Okay. And you grind your face off and you do a great Even job. You because the decision mode because Kenny G could have stayed at Arkansas. He could have stayed there. Yeah, I think this is a level up for him. Okay. Getting, getting out of Arkansas, going with Phil Longo, Luke Fickle in the Big Ten. I think this is a, that's a better job for Kenny Guyton in his career path. Okay, that's good to know. I, I didn't know how you viewed that job uh, um, in a vacuum. The wide receiver. Is, is it because of Phil Longo? Does Phil Longo yeah. make that job more attractive? Yeah, and I think Arkansas, you know, you're, you're – you're in a tough spot in the SEC. Add in Oklahoma and Texas. Yeah, it's, it's a tough job. Now you're, you know, regionally you're recruiting against Oklahoma, Texas, and you don't have that SEC card to play on them, yeah. right? Not that they ever were really beating Texas and Oklahoma initially, but now it's even harder. And you're facing Big Ten corners and not SEC corners. No doubt about just, it. Just for the record, let the record show. No doubt. Um, I'm excited for Kenny G, man, and I'm, I'm also a little bit surprised that. Uh, that Phil Longo opted to go to Wisconsin, but I think it's going to work out because I think he's one of those really good offensive minds. Yeah, I do too. All right, Menace Army, if you love fantasy football, our partner, Prize Picks, is in the middle of the 12 days of Picksmas. Every day, there's a promotion. It's an easy winner. For instance, on Christmas Day, Kevin Durant needs to score one point. And what you do on Prize Picks, it's all fantasy, fantasy sports, right? You go pick on... Uh, pick two to six stat lines and say if they're going to have more points than that or less points. You can do it for basketball, football, with all the NFL action going on. It's it's my favorite thing to do during football. It's my favorite way to wager. I love fantasy football, and I love following it. So they have their picksmiths going on right now. You can win up. To, I had a, one time I hit a 25X uh, combination, 25 times my money. All you got to do is go over to Prize Picks, use promo code MENACE, and you get a free first deposit match up to $100. So go to prizepicks.com forward slash menace, use promo code menace, and get a deposit match for 100 bucks. Get free money. It's it's my favorite thing to do. I love fantasy football. I love money. So combine the two. Prize picks. It's the way to go. Go check it out with our promo code and get some free cash. Mary Ballsmith. Miss. Mary Ballsmith from our friends at Manscaped. I had to, it's been a while since I put my girl back on screen. Just want to remind you that promo code menace. Get 20% off of free shipping at Manscaped. We also refund orders. So if you place an order, we'll do it before Christmas this year. So you could get somebody uh, the, the um, Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, and you could get it for free if you submit your receipt, send it to me, DM, or email. This is big time. They have their new Lawnmower 5.0. It comes with the um, 
it's the fifth generation uh, trimmer. It's unbelievable. It's waterproof. It has an LED light on it. If you're going to manscape your body, you have to have this package. It also comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0, uh, 2 which is an ear and nose hair trimmer. It, it's got it's got everything. I mean, it, it, it's got crop preserver, ball deodorant, crop soother, aftershave lotion. It has a nice little leather tote bag. You got to get it. And go over to Manscaped right now. Use promo code MENACE, 20% off of free shipping with code MENACE, and Send, send your receipt in to me, and we're going to refund one order. Get your balls right before Santa Claus comes, Menace Army.